campaign won't pay. 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 All right, fair play. Uh, just like to thank everybody for coming out today. Uh, pretty decent turnout, I think. Uh, my name is Connor Burke. I'm with the Socialist Party, but I'm here today on behalf of the campaign against the household charge. It's a national campaign. It's set up in every town and city around the country. So we're hoping to get uh, hundreds of thousands of people, hopefully, uh, and it's looking like we will, uh, who are going to refuse to register uh, for, a for a beginning and then refuse to pay this charge once, uh, once uh, it officially... Uh, starts to the bills start to arrive and so forth, you know. Uh, I think if we can get to St. Patrick's Day uh, with close to a million householders in this country that haven't paid, it's going to put the government in a very serious position where they're really going to have to relook uh, at uh, their strategy in terms of trying to implement this tax. So we'd like to encourage everybody to talk to their family, their friends, their neighbours and encourage them not to register. And if people are frightened by the government scare tactics that are happening about uh, fines and uh, levies and so forth, about not paying, then just ask them not to register until the very last moment at the end of March, the final week going into March, because if we can have a significant number of people that haven't registered by that stage, the government are going to be under severe pressure and it's going to give huge confidence to those people when they see the strength of the campaign that we have organized nationally. <coughs> I'd uh, just like to add as well that uh, this Wednesday, the 11th, we're having a, a campaign meeting uh, in Richardson's uh, in Air Square. Uh, so everybody is invited to come along to that and have their say. This is a, an open campaign that everybody is uh, invited to be involved in and have their say in as well. Uh, so if you'd like to come along to that, uh, we'd really appreciate it. 8 uh, oh, 8 p.m. I, I must say as well. Uh, just to put this in a bit of perspective as well. Uh, this charge is clearly not uh, about uh, you know, local services or, or creating money for local services and so forth as the government would like, to, like us to believe. Uh, this is directly this money that they're trying to uh, recoup from this charge. First of all, the initial 100 euro charge we all know is going to increase uh, to, on average, according to the ESRI, uh, uh, to about 1,000 to 1,200 euro on average per household. This is money ordinary people just simply don't have, and we shouldn't be paying it. Uh, these are unfair, unjust taxes that are essentially going to bailing out the banks. Uh, you know, uh, at the end of this month, uh, the government are going to hand over uh, 1.25 billion to unsecured Anglo-Irish bondholders. Shame. If the government are so stuck for money, then why are they handing over taxpayers' money of this magnitude to, to unsecured bondholders? They have no obligation to pay these. So if they're going to give away our money like that, then we're not going to pay this charge. I just like to... I just like to say, can you hear me now? I don't know what you can or not. Yeah. But, uh, I've, I've come all the way, I've come 40 miles up here today, and I had to ask myself, had I got the price of the petrol to put in the car before I come up here? A year ago, or a couple of years ago, I was living what I considered reasonably comfortable. Now, as I said, I had to think twice before I get in the car, yes. but I realised that there was going to be people here today, and I wanted to come up and show my support to ye, the people of Galway City. We have, a, we have a separate committee which we elected two weeks ago in a place called Williamstown and North Galway, and we're planning another uh, big demonstration and another meeting in a couple of weeks' time. Because the way that we look at it here, we have a government. Are you listening in the city hall? We have, we have a government. We have an Irish government now, which is a puppet government. It is being dictated to by Angela Merkel and Nicholas Sarkozy. They run Ireland. The French run Ireland. The Germans are running Ireland. There is no such thing. There is no such thing as democracy here in Ireland. Nobody listens to us anymore. I tell you something, the time has come for a revolution in Ireland. I am going to be leading it. We have, we have taken as much as we can take. We are not going to take any more. We elected the politicians to do our bidding. Instead of that, they are telling us how to live our lives. <laughs> 
puppets, yes. puppets, 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 a puppet government, rich rice, it's all together now, shout after me, puppet government, puppet government, puppet government, puppet government, puppet government, we can't pay, we won't pay, can't pay, won't pay, what can't we do, can't pay, won't pay, what can't we do, can't pay, We're going to keep it up, and we. I want people out there, don't be terrified that you're going to be put out of your house, or that you're going to put a charge against your house, because they can't. They can't do it. It's not democratic. There's no such thing as democracy here. People are the masses of their own destiny, and we are the force that's going to bring this government down. They might say that, but we're going to bring them down. Thank you very much. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. 